Hi everybody, how y'all doing? So this is Rachel and this is my um, package of Kusmi tea that came in. Now please remember, I am not sponsored or helped out in any way to do this. I just love this tea. It's truly my favorite. And uh, so I'd like to share it with share it with you and tell you little things about it. Um, so if you're interested in getting some too, that you have a little bit of an idea of some of the things about it that are different and um, really cool. So people ask all the time, how do you make your tea? Well, there's a French press. That's an easy way to do it. Um, then there are infusers, which basically you're letting the tea sit in the water. This is one that actually came from their website, but it's made by another company. So this one, it's got the lid, and what you do is you're putting the tea into there, and then it strains, see, because it's like this sieve. And then this little bottom part will actually hold that. So that's kind of nice. Whoops. Another kind of infuser are these two, you know, just a regular strainer. Um, the thing of it is, though, that, you know, sometimes they might be deep enough to go into your um, tea, but it, it, you know, it'd have to be coming up quite a bit. More commonly, people use these ones, and I really like these. I think I have like half a dozen of them, because if you figure out what you want, you can just, you know, throw that one into someone's teacup, and there you go. So I did talk about that the first one that I ever got... Um, and was interested by was from uh, Belle de Jour NYC and she just loves the detox tea which is it's a it's a green tea but it also has a bramate in it and it has lemongrass and I don't think that it has anything else oh like scents of lemons it says so these are their um, individual you know tea bags they have they're made with muslin uh, which is really nice one of the things about them is that they always have an expiration date so it's really good when you know you don't know if tea has been sitting too long can you use it this that I'll tell you something that's changed the um, the name of itself now it used to be called seaweeds and tea but now it's called this part of it see the algote um, that's what it's always called now <laughs> so that's with they have different organized parts of like if it's the greens, if it's the blacks, if it's the wellness, if it's, you know, a traditional tea or a Russian tea. Um, and then they have even ones that they suggest for iced. And that's what this one is, too. Um, this one is actually, all you do is you put it into the water and it just sits. To tell you the truth, um, using it, I haven't been that impressed because it doesn't really have too much of a super strawberry flavor to it. Um... I'd say it's, you know, more trouble than it's worth because it has these huge tea bags, like only five of them though, and for what it costs, I'd say skip that one. But if you do want strawberry flavored teas, or fruit flavored teas actually, I should say, this one is an apple that is outstanding out of this world. What I've noticed is that when they have a fruit flavor, that if they use it with black tea, it's got a far deeper flavor than when they do it with the green. And that's what I learned when I got these two. Okay, this is the four fruits. This I could drink every day and my kids love it too. This is the strawberry version. Now this is different than that one, but it's with green. And that's why I say, now that I know that it's the black one that it tastes better with, I'll always do that. There's another one that they really do recommend for iced tea, and that's the ginger lemon green. Oh, it's really delicious. Um, and even in the summer, it's really nice. So I'm going to show you my favorite, favorite, favorite tea. The tea that I drink every day without fail. And I loved it so much I got, you know, <laughs> the big, big size of it because I go through it that much. So this is a green tea that has in it um, black tea as well. And then they have orange, vanilla, cinnamon, and licorice, as well as sea buckthorn berries. Now, licorice is used in Chinese medicine to make other herbs move. And so whatever the quality of those other herbs are, for instance, it will move them along and help them become absorbed. And plus it has, of course, its own, you know, good properties to it. But the thing about that's so unusual is the sea buckthorn berries, which are great for, um... The essential oil that they have in them they're good for your skin and um, it's just a very unusual grouping and I think this is one of their newest ones so um, I really am glad that I've started to get into it and like I say it's truly my favorite 
sometimes I use it as a base to mix other uh, herbs into and um, that's become kind of like my summer thing that I do every day. Isn't it? It sounds weird that I drink hot tea in the summer, but I do. I drink, you know, colder teas, but, you know, I also drink it hot. This is one of the Russian teas that I really, really love. It's the St. Petersburg. And it's got, like, a caramel flavor to it. Let's see, what else does it say? I think, yeah, it's black teas, bergamot, red fruits, and caramel. And it's kind of got a citrusy, red fruit, caramely flavor. It's just really unique. And it's kind of subtle. It would be good as a dessert tea. But, um, yeah, that's definitely one to check out. There was a really strange thing that I saw that I wanted to figure out about. This is a violet tea. And they also make a rose tea. Um, you can get these stacks. There are different kinds of them that they have. This is a green, like a variety of the green flavors. And the ones, there are two in here that I think are really unique. One is the one that has buffalo grass in it, sweet buffalo grass. And then another one that I really love is the spearmint. Now that one, iced, is just amazing. There's another stack here. This has um, another version of the St. Petersburg tea, and it has the Christmas tea, which is really nice. This is the rose tea, and just comparing these two, they're just amazing. Um, <laughs> I highly recommend if you if you like floral flavors, which it sounds weird that you would have flowers in tea, but it works somehow, and I don't know how. At the top of this here, this is the spicy chocolate, and this is the chocolate mint, which is like a dessert in and of itself. It's very just thick and rich in flavor as well as you can't even believe it when you smell it because it just smells like a confection. It's really amazing. This one is the one that my kids request a lot um, and I make it, what do you call, iced for them. It's got rosehip seed, apple, verbena, which is usually lemon verbena peppermint, anise seeds, and licorice. Now it doesn't have a licorice or anise flavor, so don't think that. And either does the Imperial, so don't think that they would have those flavors. It's not even subtle. You can't even taste it. Um, the rose hip is going to give you lots of vitamin C, and the peppermint are great for your lungs. Um, I don't remember anything else about the other ones, except of course licorice is in there and that helps to move. There are, uh, move the herbs, not you. <laughs> it's not going to, yeah. There are a, like a, a five or six set where they have this Be Cool, the Detox, and like three other ones. One of them is like Sweet Love and, um, <laughs> oh, I should shout out to <laughs> Bradley because he made that wonderful song that I love. Um, I'm trying to remember the other ones. Yeah, I don't remember them. If you just go on the website, you can actually get one of these stacks of all of the wellness teas. So just to get an idea of the sizes, these little boxes, it's like, okay, 25 grams, I think, which is close to an ounce. Basically, you'll get like five or six cups of tea out of that. Um, depending, and, and that's like the, the least that you would get. It, it depends on how much you like to um, to put into your tea. And then each of them kind of double in size. This is, I think it must be a 50. Oh, this is 125. Okay, so this is 25 and this is 125. And then this is even double than that. Yeah, 250. So if you remember, it has the dates on the bottom. So you won't have to worry about it spoiling because you'll be able to see what the date is and that way you can use it on time and you know that it's going to have a good flavor to it. So um, whatever flavors and choices you have as far as do you like black tea, do you like green tea, of course they have so many different ones and the combinations are really unique even though they have some old traditional ones that are you know of course the Russian style, um, you'll, you'll be you'll sure to find something unique like the violet teas or the rose teas. Um, I do like these far better than Tiavana. People always ask which do you like better. No contest. These, especially the green teas, and remember I lived in Japan for like four years. 
the green tea from this makes every green tea that I had in Japan look like I was drinking water. And part of the reason why is that they're incredibly fresh and you can see that they aren't like dried like the way that I'm normally used to seeing green teas like and they even have one that's kind of, it's the I can't read through my phone let's see Genmaicha um, I haven't tried it yet but when I smelled it 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 was reminiscent of <clears throat> the Japanese teas that I did recall and um, so if you like green tea if you don't like the flavor of it I would recommend two things. First of all, don't brew it too much. There's also different amounts of temperature to brew the water before you marry it to your tea. But the most subtle one that I really liked is that one with the um, the buffalo grass. I would say if you were new to green tea, try that. Um, but make sure that you're not allergic to it because, of course, you know it being an herb, you can anybody can have a reaction to anything. So I hope that um, you had fun looking through <laughs> what's going to probably be my stash for the year because I guess I need to have a tea party and have friends over or something. But I would love to hear back if you've gotten any, if you're interested um, in black or green or if you like herbal teas more. They do have a lot of herbal teas like, you know, cat meal and they have a verbena and a lemon verbena and stuff like that. I also know a code that works wonderfully. It always has every time. It's just um, Kusmi 15. So you get 15% off and you have to capitalize it. So I hope if you try that code that it works for you because it always has for me. And um, well, cheers to you for your drinking your tea and I hope you have a great day and I'd love to hear back from you. So take care. Peace.